Hello everyone. Welcome to the homestead. We wanted to do an official video. Yes, we have our homestead. Connor Homestead is a reality, but we have hit the ground running. We're still moving in on uh, this beautiful 15 acres of land and I've got so many projects that I'm looking forward to doing. So we're still working kind of on security. We've got chain link fencing happening, but we need a couple of gates. So we've got a front gate here. Let's turn you around. So this is our front gate and it's got an electric arm. I've actually just disassembled this so we could um, close it but um, there's power here and the electrician says it's on but I've ordered a new replacement transformer here and I've ordered a new battery for here so we're gonna vacuum out all those webs if you see them uh, the electrician said oh my gosh that's like a black widow's nest oh and I see spiders in there. I see one for sure. Anyway, I'm just gonna like quickly detach that and keep watch of my hands and everything. And I think I'm just gonna get a whole new whole new box. I just want the wires out of there. But for right now we're out here because the gate as I'm closing it it starts to drag and it hits that concrete so our agent stopped by today the wonderful Bobby Cushman and his husband Brad sorry about the traffic and I was gonna try to raise this whole gate but he told me that this tension bar actually um, will lift the gate so now that's what I'm out here to do to t uh, tighten this right here and see if that'll raise the gate like Bobby says so let's check it out all right so And I've got a bunch of wrenches, but I just actually went and picked up a whole set because now I know what sizes I have. And they're organized in this because I'm going to have to start organizing my shop, my workshop, because I have a really nice heated and air-conditioned workshop on the property. getting there a few more turns I think if we can just get it lifted a little more and that'll be good and there we have it a gate that is completely closed yes all right that feels good to um, have gotten that project done at least getting the gate closed um, once the battery arrives and the new transformer will work on getting it automated so our next security fencing project and we're really trying to get one area that's completely closed in so we can let whiskey the dog out she got loose our first night here and it was really really scary it was so dark 
and um, it was raining, it was pitch black out here, and it's new to all of us, and um, that front gate was open because we couldn't, we couldn't get it closed, and we were concerned that she would get out there into the road. Now typically the times that she's gotten out before, a handful of times in our old neighborhood, she runs and runs, but she stays very close, so she just kind of circles around, and you know, she acts like it's a game. Um, but she eventually tires herself out, which is what she did the other day, and uh, we were able to get to her. But, um, yeah, if we can just get this one sizable area completely fenced in, then um, that'll be great. So the next thing that we have is there's this portion of gate that we're approaching right now, and they've removed the gate off of this fence right here so this is an opening and um, we priced the fence at Home Depot it was 119 and they give you the option where you know you can inquire about installation and so that's what we did because we figured save ourselves some time we've got a lot of little projects like this to do and the guy quoted he's like $800 and I'm like to hang a fence that already already even has the hinges on here so we bought the fence and now um, so we bought the fence and so now the project is to hang the fence right there so um, I'm gonna bring it out and let's see what we can get done Here I am, saving us $800. This is exciting, so now I just have to do the other half. All right, so now I've just got to um, go back and, and look at the instructions again to see how to get this, this middle part. But uh, I am pretty happy with it, and it is secure enough to keep the dog in once I get the middle post in there. Um, so yeah. 
here we are fenced in. All right, y'all, let's uh, check out the handiwork. We are going to uh, <laughs> whiskey test this, um, this perimeter soon as uh, Tiffany gets off her work call, but here is me saving us um, $700 by installing this gate myself. Now, don't mind the bottom portion down there. I used something to just some aluminum scrap to wrap it up because I didn't have a hinge from Home Home Depot. Hopefully, the hinge will fit. If not, I'll I'll work on it. We're not looking at like using this gate, um, so we just wanted to close this off. But I hung these gates properly, um, so I'm excited about that. And then, of course, the gate all the way at the front. I got that closed, if you guys can see. Bring you closer. So we got that closed. And that means this portion of the property is all looped in. And it's a lot of space for the puppy. Um, of course, the pool has to be gated as well by law, so um, all of this is fenced in and fenced over there to our neighbors behind that playset. So I am excited to. Uh oh. excited to whiskey test this perimeter and um, we'll see how that goes so this is our land you guys as far as you can see and it extends beyond that tree line so we've got about five acres of trees over there that little building right there is a chicken coop I'm gonna have to repair that door this is my amazing shop and then this little white building is going to get torn down. Um, I'll save as much as I can from it, but I'm going to put a greenhouse right here. <laughs> 